Hi, my name is Henrik Voss. I'm the product manager for the electronic control system at ARI. And I want to show you some news in the electronic control system. So let me start with the master grips. The master grips are a set of electronic hand grips that can control all types of lenses and also camera settings, especially on our cameras. Very ergonomic hand grip, um, of course, you can combine with them with the CFOS motors and um, use them on any cylinder lens, even on ENG lenses. But in this case, I want to show you the very big news we are having, and we're very proud of that. With Amira SUP5 Software Update Package 5 and also with Alexa Mini Software Update Package 5, we are now able to control EF lenses through the master grip. That means that we control focus and iris from the master grips. The special thing about it is that it's a really smooth control, so we have no stepping in the image. It's a really smooth iris and focus control. And that's particularly very useful for um, camera operators who want a really lightweight camera package, who shoot on their own, want a lightweight lens, and to be able to control, especially F lens, just from the fingertips. The setup we are having here basically is a WCO4. Um, it's connected to an Alexa Mini, which is hanging above me in a drone. Uh, here we have a C-Motion C distance display, which displays the distance measuring uh, the value from the UDM1 distance measure in a very big and bright manner. It can be attached to a WCU4, but it can also be attached, of course, to a camera. But the very new exciting thing here is really that we are able now to shoot lens files from the WCU4 wirelessly to the camera. Um, we have a whole new uh, setup here. So, as a user, you are now able to organize your lens files on an SD card. You know, before you could um, save a customly programmed SD file on the SD card. Now you can create your own folder structure on the SD card. Could be called like my LDA, my Lens Data Archive, and you, then you might have different folders, maybe for Ari, Cook, Zeiss, Engineer, um, Leica, and so on. And then you could put your lens files into those folders. Now with the new WCU4, you can browse through the folder structure on your SD card. So you go to lens data, can select whatever file you want, and then you can send it to the camera. So now the lens file has been wirelessly transferred to the camera. I'm calibrating the motor, um, and then I have my lens data. The second very new exciting thing on the WCU4 now is this. Look, I go to the camera menu and there's a new button called play. It jumps to the last clip, but I can now load my clip list and go to any clip and I have full playback control. So I can shuttle through the clips, I can use my zoom stick here to go through the clip frame by frame. Um, so I have a full playback control from my handset. And last but not least, um, if you go to the camera menu again, there is a new thing called in the setup menu, user setups. So I can, from the WCU4, access the user setups that are loaded in the Alexa Mini camera. You can get lens data with any lens, because you can program a lens file for any lens. And on any camera, because you can use our UMC4 motor controller that generates lens data on any camera as well. The very new thing I want to talk about now is a new website called the Ari Lens Table Marketplace. Lens Table Marketplace is an online exchange platform for Ari Lens files. People can upload their lens files, download others' lens files, and also visualize the lens files so you can see how many data points are contained within the lens files, which axes are programmed in the lens file. So I think it's a very helpful tool. Please try it out. Uh, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.